Hey everyone, welcome back to the RH Farm channel. I'm getting the trailer hooked up because we got a call from Animal Control. We need to go help a mare who's in a super desperate situation. She's really skinny. So we're getting hooked up so we can head on out. Let's go get her. When it comes to situations like this where we're called in, it's important for us to both manage and be aware of our emotions. Even though what we see might be very distressing, we need to maintain a positive attitude and environment around the owner so that we can focus on what needs to be done, which is haltering her up, getting her out of there. That is the number one priority. That's most important. So we need to maintain an atmosphere that lets us be able to do that. Understandably, she's a little hesitant about getting on the trailer. She hasn't been anywhere in many years and she's been by herself for a few years as well. So we wanted to give her the time she needed to get comfortable and kind of explore a little bit so that this whole experience could be as positive as possible and she could take all the time that she needed. So we're headed back to the rescue now. You saw her, you saw the condition. I have just been trying to get my thoughts together to think about what to say. The owner seemed very sweet, uh, an older, older person, very sweet. And it seems like this situation just happened out of ignorance. Um, the owner admitted that the horse has been declining for several years. It's heartbreaking to see this condition. I don't I don't even know if she's gonna make it. Like she might even just be down back in the trailer when we go to let her out. Like she was unsteady getting on. She's so weak. And it's just, I just don't know how people can do this. I've got a sent a text message to animal control to ask them about what could be done, you know, legally about stuff like this. and. Our county, the way they work is they start with education. So they talk to the owner. If somebody calls in and reports a horse or a situation that might be concerning, they talk to the owner, they try to educate them, um, give them chances to do better, and then sort of they check back and see how it goes. And But at the same time, like, do you just get away with everything? Do you just, are there no repercussions for what's happened because you did decide to give the horse up eventually after animal control had to come and talk to you about it. Anyways, we're on our way back to the rescue, so we'll catch up when we're there. As soon as we got off the trailer, her energy really picked up. I don't know if it was being in a new place or seeing other horses. She just really seemed like she had energy again and wasn't depressed or weak. And she just was like ready to see what life had to offer. So we're just taking her into the round pen just to kind of let her settle and get her bearings for a little bit.
So a little about this mare, she is a registered Arabian. We have her papers. She was bred actually very local to where we are. She is 32 years old according to her papers. So we might be limited in what we're able to do, but we will try our best. Want to eat your alfalfas? Is there too much water? Yeah. Yeah, I can grab some. Yeah. So we're just doing a little bit of soaked alfalfa, very soaked, just to get it in her system. She's got her starvation coat on, that's the shaggy, shaggy coat that she's got. She might also have Cushing's, but um, she had a bunch of tangles in her mane. It looks like the owner cut them out before we got there today. The owner said she hadn't been around horses in a long time. She had a younger brother, I think they said, um, who is no longer with us. It's just been her for quite a while and she hasn't been on a trailer for a long time either. So she's obviously excited to see other horses and this, she's not going to be in this pen for very long. Um, I just kind of want to keep an eye on her and um, just especially these first 24 hours and get sort of like a gauge of what's her normal and her like regular symptoms or how she's acting and have that as our baseline. Is that good? And I'm also going to put a call out to the vet um, so that we can take her to get her teeth loaded. It might actually be better for the vet to come to us given like her sort of fragility and getting on the trailer. I just I really don't want to put her through that. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Our refeeding process for her is going to be really similar to Ziggy. Um, lots of small meals soaked, um, just alfalfa base to start, and then we'll like work in some grain. Ziggy we did every four hours. We'll probably stick to the same with her just to kind of get some things in her system and get them moving. Um, and then also make sure like she's pooping normally and make sure all of that is good. So it's a long road. It's a long road from here and we could really use your help. We've already posted about her over on Instagram and Facebook and raised some funds there. Um, if you want to help out, you can hit the thanks button below this video. You can also go in the description and donate on our website or donate through our Venmo. That's all going to go towards her and her care. So all of these meals, the vet costs, it's, it adds up, especially with the length of time that it takes for an older horse and a horse that's this skinny to get weight on like they should. So all the help and all the support we can get from you guys will really go a long way. Share this video, share her story with friends, coworkers, anybody that you know that might be able to help. And we will do our part by taking care of her, feeding her, getting her what she needs to get on the road to health. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you can follow along with her journey because we're hoping it's gonna be just like Ziggy, an over 30 horse who's gonna make a miraculous recovery and put weight on with the time and dedication of our team here and the support of our friends, you guys. We'll see you in the next one.